YouTube. In the country, they watch YouTube. People have to stop watching YouTube. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. That's all people talking about. In India, they watch YouTube. In, the, in America, they watch YouTube. In Japan, they watch YouTube. In Paris, they watch YouTube. People must stop watching YouTube. YouTube is just a waste of time. People have to start exploring the world. Don't you watch y Live and Maddie on YouTube? No, it's, it's, it's on Netflix, Mom. You gotta understand. They should go, they should go places like Paris or France. Paris is France. Stop being a hater. <laughs> People must stop watching YouTube. Listen to me. If people keep on watching YouTube, they will they will just lose it. They will watch YouTube breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like my mom. She watched This Nation. That's blowing my mind. Or the Breakfast Club. That is That is so messed up. Like all they do in the Breakfast Club is eat breakfast. In a club. So listen to me. Stop watching YouTube. People in America. People in the countries. Stop watching YouTube. Stop watching. Start watching Netflix. Or Plex. Or Hulu. Or Amazon. Stop watching YouTube. Hey y'all, I put together this cute little cooking segment. It's an African dish called Domada. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I've listed all the ingredients that you guys will need. So please prep before, because I know sometimes you'll start and miss something and it'll ruin the whole dish. Anyway, so let's get started. 
first you'll need to put some oil I mean you don't really have to be olive oil but I prefer olive oil you could use so you'll put the oil let it get hot a little bit put the meatballs in there get your um, vegetables all together cabbage half of a cabbage you just cut it in the middle and then you cut it into three pieces then you take your carrot peel the carrot really nice and clean make sure you get it really um, clean and peel it really good so you're gonna then you're gonna cut each end of the carrots off and you'll do this two times of course you'll need two carrots and depending on how many people you're feeding I mean if you want to add more it's fine then you're gonna get two big potatoes and peel it really clean I prefer to take all the skin off you don't have to I know some people like to leave the skin on which is completely fine but um, you'll need two potato and again depending on how many people you're feeling feeding so you'll just go by that and then you um, just repeat again and then after you're done peeling it cut it in big chunks like big chunks then you're gonna grab your um, tomato paste and you're gonna open it up really good and you're gonna scoop all the paste out make sure you get all of it out it's a small can so you want to get everything out then you're just gonna add water as you go you add a little bit of water and you mix it because you don't want to make it too watery because then it defeats the purpose of it being paste thick and so you're gonna add another I eat I add another one until I feel like it's thick enough but not too watery so now you want to take the tomato paste and add it with the meatballs and the onions. I just put the onions in there not too long ago. I just put it in there like literally two seconds ago. So you want to mix it really good. And after you mix it, now you're going to add the tomato paste in there. Make sure you add all of it in there really good. And then you're going to want to add a little bit of water. Mix it really good. Add the rest of the paste in there. And then you're going to want to stir it. Get it all. Get the tomato all around. Get it really um thoroughly out in the pot then you're going to start adding your seasoning now there's no specific seasonings it's to your liking whatever you like and whatever seasoning you put but these are the seasonings that i put in it so you can either use these or you can use the seasonings you want however you want to do it is fine but these are the three seasonings that i mostly use all the time for my african dishes then you want to add two bowls of water um now you're going to add the waters in there and then add your carrot potatoes that's what i do first because it takes longer for those to cook and then i put the cabbages on top cabbages really don't take that long to cook and then now you're going to want to cover the lid and put it on high so you until it start boiling when it start boiling then you're going to want to turn it down to low now the now um as for the rice i already cooked the rice it didn't take no longer than 15 minutes for the rice to cook but i already oh i always usually just cook my rice first it's the first you want to leave it on high for 15 minutes then you come check on it you want to move all the vegetables around stir it to make sure everything's getting cooked and then you're gonna taste it you're gonna taste it for flavor and see if it's to your liking once you taste it and you like how it tastes then you're good to go now we're gonna make the domada thick. We're gonna need the sauce to be thick. So you're gonna add a little bit of flour, just a cup of a little bit of flour, mix it with water, mix it really good, and add it to the sauce. Usually, you're supposed to take all the meat and the vegetables out, but I don't have time for that. So you're just gonna, I just pour it in there, and then I start mixing it in spots that have, it's really watery, just to make the sauce thick. Now, then you're gonna, you see the sauce is nice and thick, just how you want it, just like that. Not too thick, not too thick. You want it to be nice and thick and juicy. I hope you enjoy. Bon appetit. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more African cooking dishes. Not just African. I cook American dishes. I don't discriminate. I cook it all, honey. If I like it, I'm going to cook it. Thank you for watching.